Got to figure out which one's the Pixel 7. If you just got a Pixel 7, congratulations. It's a really great phone. But how hard is it to migrate your old phone to your new phone? It's pretty simple. I'll go through all the quick steps. Guess what? All it takes is the cable that comes with the phone. So let's go to an overhead shot and get started. There's been a ton of unboxing, so I'm not going to go into that. But I'm going to show you the differences between the two phones and then how long it takes to transfer or clone this phone into this phone. First real obvious differences, this is obsidian black and this is black. They've actually transposed the colors on the G. This has an aluminum cover on it. It doesn't look like it goes all the way down. Yeah, nah, hard to tell. Maybe it does. But it's glass and then you can see that it's reoriented just enough so that you can't use the cases for this one for this one. Size wise, they're pretty much the same. Probably about three millimeters on two sides. This arrived with a 55% charge. I made sure that this is 100% and I charged this up. It seems maybe a tad bit shallower on the bevel here, but not by much. We are gonna use the cable that was provided with the phone. English, accessibility, get started. Connect to a mobile network. I don't have a SIM card. So I'll put my password into the phone here and then get back with you. When you connect it to your local Wi-Fi, you'll get this screen, copy apps, next. So I'm going to do everything. So now we're going to take this cord, plug it into one, plug it into the other. Makes a nice little sound. Cords are plugged in. Copy data, copy. You got to put your little thumbprint in. Lots of little jingle jangles going off. You can choose what you want to copy on here. I'm going to probably copy everything. Probably going to take about 20 minutes. Copy it all. A bunch of things scrolled by, didn't want to give any personal information, so I'll just hit accept there. This will be one of the first options that comes up. Use your 15 gigabyte Google account storage backup. Not now, or turn it on. For $20 a year, it's a backup to the phone, so if for some reason you lose this or break it, you still have the information and data. I'm gonna turn it on. Country you purchased. Next. Except this is where you set your pin. It can be the same pin as you had in the other one. So I'll pause here, put my pin in, and then join back up. The next choice you're going to have is set up a fingerprint unlock. I really like the fingerprint unlock. A lot of people use their index finger as the unlock. I've traditionally used my thumb. The only problem is, is I find that I'm cutting my thumbs all the time. They have bandages on them. So I'm going to go with index finger this time. Accept. Re-enter your password. Go. I agree. Okay, so now you just kind of do, 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 pick it up and hold it, try to put different positions. It will give you tips on what part of your finger to hit. Like this side, here you go, a bunch of those. How about this side? So you're good to go. Face unlock. Ooh. So I guess you hold the phone up and try to unlock it. I'm going to try it this time. That was a bit interesting. You had to tilt your head down to the side, kind of like your fingerprint, only it's kind of funny to look at your face as you're doing it. Hopefully that's good now. Continue setup. Going with the device fully set up. Or leave and get reminders. There we go. It's got about 14 minutes left. 13 minutes. It's going fast. Keeping my device connected. It's going through a whole bunch of features. So I'll catch up with you in about 13 minutes. Depending on how much data you have, it could take 13 minutes to 20 minutes. 90 apps are installed, contacts, videos, hit done. It takes a couple more minutes to just finalize. The last screen said I could disconnect these. I forgot to do that before I hit the go button. I'm just going to leave them on there just in case so it doesn't mess anything up. Swipe to navigate. If you've already had a Pixel or pretty much any smartphone, you can probably skip this. All set. You're ready to start using your phone. Swipe up to go home. There we go. Now let's see. I'll put my thumb on this one. Look at that. Does it look cloned? It took 9% of the power to do that. It's doing a little bit of something there, but pretty much the phones look identical. And this will give you a sense of what the fidelity of the screens are. Pretty much the same. We'll scroll up. All right, that one for some reason is white. This one is dark. Seems to have everything I had on this one. Let's go this way, see if it moves. The icons look a little different. Maybe they're just not completely there. It defaults with this lighter setting as opposed to the dark setting. I kind of like the dark settings. So we might have to go back and change that on this one. 
This phone is a little warm, the new one, the Pixel 7, and this one's cold. I guess because it's been doing some work. When you go to transfer your number into the phone from your other phone, you go to networks and internet, you choose the SIM card, you go through the process. There's a lot of personal information, what's your phone service? Just say, yes, move my number. Hit that. You've moved the phone, and then you hit next. That inactivates your previous phone and activates the phone, in this case, the Pixel 7 that I just got. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching. If you like evaluations of technology and how-to videos, making and breaking things, designs of all kinds, I do development of sports gear and of photography equipment. I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what you're going to see.